hello welcome back to my channel so today is what is today saturday september 29th and i have a lot of errands to run i have to um well i'm gonna go by the ab uh this girl that does my eyebrows and i'm gonna see if she's available because i want to get my eyebrows done and then i have a nail appointment and then i need to go grocery shopping I want to get my car cleaned out, but they be having to wait, <clears throat> especially on um, Saturdays. It's a woo, it's a long wait, and I don't um, I don't want to have to go through that. And so it's ten fifty now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started because my appointment, my uh, nail appointment is at one twenty, and I just really want to be on time for it, of course. I want to be on time for everything, but I definitely want to be on time for my nail appointment. And so, I'm just bringing you guys along just to talk. But, um, one thing I did want to talk about is, what time is this nail appointment? 120. Then. Okay. So, 120. Alright. So, one thing I did want to talk to, about, talk to you all about is, um spending your own money in your classroom okay so next okay i guess i'm gonna have to hold this so i did come out of pocket when i do uh like the decorations and stuff in my classroom to make it all cute and stuff but after i um read this post then i was like i'm gonna try this so it has just become a norm for teachers to kind of like spend their own money you know that's just what we have been doing for so long and now people are just kind of like it's it's not right which it, it, it isn't because i saw an instagram post and it was like you don't expect um a basketball player to buy the basketballs so we don't expect lebron james to supply the basketballs but we know that's a whole different ball game a whole different field and i am not knowledgeable on the uh business of basketball so i don't know lebron might have some you know what is it like some some investments in basketball i don't know the point i'm making is uh usually you don't expect the person to, that's doing the job to supply the means to do the job unless you're like a business owner entrepreneur we get that anyway it's uh especially by working like a public service job and working for um the state you know so anyway i said all that to say this i was reading this girl's this lady's blog post and i don't even remember who it was i just i can't even think i can't even remember who it was anyway she was just basically saying that this year she made a vow to herself not to spend her personal money in her classroom and uh well she gave several reasons why and basically one of her main reasons were if teachers continue to do it and um we continue to you know pick up the slack then we we won't ever get what we need out of the um you know state funding for us to get things that we need or supply the things that we need okay so that was like her main reason so you know you stop doing it then they wouldn't have a choice but to pick up the slack and it's not gonna happen overnight but it's just something that you you just you know start thinking about start doing start implementing and then you know they'll kind of see okay teachers are not doing it like we thought they were so we need to do something okay anyway so I also agree with her. I was thinking, why should I, you know, get paid every month and then turn around and put money back into my classroom? So, or especially for the things that they need. It, it, that, let me make that clear. For the things that are absolutely necessary, why should I have to be the one to uh, supply that? And so, long story short, I. I semi made that vow to myself because school has already started and like I said I did spend some of my own money but I have not spent as nearly as much as other people spend like at all like for example I do not do any um I do not buy any school supplies with my money my personal money one reason is because we have a great administration at my school and they 
give school supplies like they literally I mean we have a vault in our school with in a closet with a lot of school supplies and I have a great office staff so if I need something I just usually go to them and they supply that and another thing um we get a lot of stuff from like school donors and and uh what is it like adopters so our adop our school adopters give us a lot of stuff so I, we get stuff from them so I, I don't I usually don't have to go out of pocket for anything now when we're doing special projects when we're doing special projects for example we did the uh, applesauce at the end of the apples one because we had thematic units and so September's what September was apples so we did applesauce at the end of the month now I, I didn't come out of pocket for that now special projects you might come out of pocket for things that aren't necessary but you would like to add in or something like that I mean just extra even like try not to even go out of pocket like try to get donations or extra administration the worst they can say is no and I'm sure they won't say no if it's a need if it's necessary you know what I'm saying so anyway uh, if we did the applesauce, I got the apples because we have a school um, grant, and it's like fruit and it's a fruit and apple grant, a fruit not fruit and apple, fruit and vegetable grant. Let me slow down. I'm talking so fast. We have a fruit and vegetable grant, and so we get fruits and vegetables for snack three times a week. And luckily, Friday we were having apples. Well, I, they packed the bag on like the day before. So if we had it Friday, they packed the bag Thursday. So I was up there when they was packing the bag. And I was like, oh, we having apples. Can I have, go ahead and have my bag? So I went and got my bag Thursday evening. So it could be in my room Friday morning. So we could start the uh, applesauce. And I we just, I mean, so boom, that's the first ingredient. The apples is done. And then, um butter sugar and I, I guess it depends on what you mean by coming out of pocket because sugar and cinnamon we that's a state staple in my household so it's not like I had to go buy you know 10 pounds of sugar and you know 30 cases of cinnamon I already got that stuff in my house and so all it cost for was one cup of sugar so I just measured out one cup of sugar put in the container brought it to the school I brought my crock, crock pot um, all I needed was a tablespoon of cinnamon so I got the little cinnamon uh, bottle and I put the cinnamon in my bag and I had my applesauce everything that I needed was taken care of with no I didn't have to go out and purchase anything so i mean it's just like finding ways around it like um i would have because I, I i i was really contemplating buying those apples and i really wanted to do the applesauce and my team we thought about doing the applesauce and we we kept saying let's see what they gonna have let's see if we had because we hadn't had apples all that week we usually have apples at least one day a week so i'm like y'all let's just wait and see but I'm glad it worked out where I didn't have to go buy the apples because I did make that vow to myself. And even though it's just apples, you know, that stuff kind of starts to add up, especially by it just being September. We got all the way to May to go. So, you know, it's, it's just kind of one of those things where, yeah, it's not, it's just apples right now or it's just this thing right now. But if every month I'm buying something or every week I'm buying something, it will add up. Um, so that was just one example of how you can just get resources from your school or resources from the house, different things like that. And another example that I just wanted to give was um, the, for the school supplies, we have like homework folders and we have classwork folders. So a lot of my students, and it was on the supply list, They just for various reasons, they don't bring the supplies. I mean, their mom might not can afford it. Um, they might have a you know just a, a lot of kids and it's a tight income and you have to spread out the school supplies it could be numerous amounts of reasons and one thing i like to always keep in mind is i don't know what these kids are going through at their house so when they come to school i try to make it as pleasant as possible for them anyway with that being said a lot of kids did not have uh folders and so we have like i said earlier we have a vault in our uh school and I went to the principal I needed seven extra folders and she just gave me seven extra folders now 
th that will work if you aren't now I, I, I don't want to make it seem like you should just lower your expectations I'm not saying that but beggars can't be choosers and what I mean by that is um, last year I had all yellow um, homework folders everybody's homework folder was yellow it was the yellow 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 plastic prong folders so they lasted pretty much all year they were you know amazing I love them the, aesthetically they were pleasing I can look and see that's your yellow homework folder good to go um, this year I'm not as strict and structured when it comes to homework folders because I, like I made this vow to myself, I'm not willing to spend those plastic prong folders are every bit of like they could be like a dollar a piece, maybe a dollar twenty five cent a piece. So I'm not willing to spend that on a folder just because it looks good and it's aesthetically pleasing and you know I'm just not okay with it. Especially, I know the argument would be it lasts all year. Yeah, it could last all year. I still had to replace some, but I'm just I'm I'm not willing to do that. I'm in a different mindset right now. So what I'm saying is, I I'd, I'd rather just get the folders that the school offers, and if I need another one, I could just go back and get another one. Versus me spending my own money out of pocket and it's still possibly not working out so i mean you you kind of just you, you got to just like let it go just like take the help that's being offered um make the best of it and you know like i say it, it's gonna a change is gonna come when, once they start seeing okay they, the school needs this stuff the teachers need this stuff they not just you know throwing it in the air and making it rain you know it, this stuff is really needed and you see the teachers are not supplying as much as they used to then I think a change will come I think a change will happen so I did want to talk to y'all about that and it was something else oh another reason why I'm not gonna be super strict on um like folders and stuff like that like I was last year is because a lot of students um picture a lot of students are uh, very personalized and they have their own personalities so they want certain things so um I thought that was a snake but it's like a cane rod or something so a lot of students are very like they want their own things they're very personalized they have their own personalities and so like this one particular little girl she uh is so bubbly she kind of reminds me of myself she is so bubbly so happy she's so colorful she just vibrant she just you know she exudes energy and um her mom bought her these cute 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 unicorn folders and one is for her homework and then the other one is like she just keeps like she likes to draw so she keeps like her little drawings and stuff in there and then um she got this little donut folder with like all the different kind of donuts and the chocolate covered donut sprinkles and it's all sparkly and stuff so she uses that folder for like her classwork folder and i just i want children to use stuff that they want to use and and so last year i was just kind of like oh you can save that folder for a special for a special time or for a special moment keep your special stuff in it and now i'm just kind of like girl if you want to use that unicorn folder for your classwork folder use it all the folders don't have to be the same like let it go like let it go and so anyway i just wanted to talk to y'all about just spending your own personal money in the school oh and another thing i should have really organized this in my head because now i feel like it's all over the place but another thing is we um do have eef cards and on our eef cards we had close to four hundred dollars so i do have money to spend in my classroom and i know four hundred dollars can go like that you know but at the same time honestly i um i, I play it smart I don't just buy all kind of stuff because it's cute. I, I I'm not that teacher. I'm I, and I guess it might be because of the um the area that I'm in. Students really need resources, so I'm not gonna buy this. I don't know this pillow. Well, with the EEF cards, it's only certain things you can buy anyway. But I'm not gonna just buy it because it's cute. I'm buying it because it needs to be effective. It needs to be efficient. It needs to be able to, you know, 
really be utilized in the classroom and so i try to get i try to bargain and get stuff that that's really needed and not just splurge and you know so that's that and look i'm just thinking about all kind of stuff and we um had got a some kind of funding i'm not even sure i you know how you be in meetings but you're not really in the meeting and so anyway we got cyrus was telling us we got some kind of funding and we asked the parents she sent out a survey and she asked the parents on uh how did they want to spend the money and most parents said they wanted to spend the money buying resources that students could be that the students could check out and it could be taken home used over the weekend you know used like in the evenings and they can bring it back the next day things like that and so she's giving the teachers each $150 to use in their classroom to buy resources that can be checked out and so that's another thing you know we got to do that donors choose is another one I got um five tablets off of donors choose so use donors choose I mean my last project failed but it's gonna go towards my next project <laughs> and I think that you can like redo a project so I'm gonna just redo I'm gonna just redo that one and really try to push it I hopefully that works but anyway nonetheless um you know we're gonna make it to the other side where you know at the end of the rainbow where it's about to go so don't y'all worry y'all keep teaching keep uplifting keep motivating keep inspiring because these children need it and you know they, they're our future and you know we got to help them make the world go round so anyway i'm about to head i'm where well, i am been driving for the last 15 minutes probably but i'm about i'm headed to get these eyebrows done because this is a hard mess mm -mm this is a hot mess and i'm actually going the wrong way i've been talking i go this way going to work every day then now i just didn't start always going this way and it's not even the way that i really want to go so anyway let me get out this camera and i will be back with y'all later bye all right so i'm back and my eyebrows are done oh they look so much better like i just love when i just get like fresh eyebrows it just make you look so much or make me look like more put together i need to clean my glasses now i'm at uh i'm early for my nail appointment but i'm gonna go ahead and go in because i need to potty it seems like every time i have like an appointment or something where i have to sit then i have to go use the restroom so i'm gonna go ahead and go in so i can use the restroom and like pick my color and everything so I'll see y'all when I leave out of here. Bye. So my nails are done. And I just got pink and a little chrome on the pointer finger and the ring finger. I kind of want a chrome, but then like looking at it, I should have just went all pink. I try to be like outside the box or do something different or whatever. And it always don't turn out good because i mean i ain't gonna say it don't turn out good because i like my nails but the picture i showed the girl was is just a little bit different and so i don't know i should have just stuck with the all pink you know just stick with the all pink but anyway now i'm headed to the grocery store because we gotta get groceries we gotta eat and so that's what i'm about to do now but eyebrows done nails and toes done i feel feel like i'm myself again i'm feeling good i'm feeling great uh this shirt is actually supposed to be like this but i get tired of tugging on it but it's supposed to be like off the shoulder every time i move my shoulders it comes up so i don't worry about it um so that's what i'm about to do and i'll give it y'all later bye okay <clears throat> hey y'all so it is Sunday and it's like 10 18 and I'm leaving the gas station and put some hand sanitizer on. I have to go. What I gotta do? I'm going to my grandmother's house to we having like a family dinner. I'm turning my hair around, it's a little warm. And um then when we leave the, the wait a minute. 
I'm going there to drop the stuff off. I, I'm bringing water and ice. And when I leave there, I have a hair appointment. And when I come back from the hair appointment, then I go to the dinner. Hopefully, it'll be around the same time because you know they're not going to start on time. But I want my stuff there um, when it starts. So it, just in case it starts on time or just in case I'm running late. So that's why I'm headed to now. And I just, ugh, I hate pumping gas. Like, it's so gross. And then, like, the gas I go to Shell, and they had this program where you can get, uh, if you use your Kroger's card, like if you buy so much at Kroger's and you use, I think you have spent over $100 and you use your Kroger card, then you get 10 cents off your gas. Okay, I was intending to do that, but I usually do it while I'm at the pump. But because I didn't pay at the pump today, I went inside because I had to buy the ice. I forgot to put in my um, Kroger card, and uh, so I get my 10 cents off. But whatever. I know I be getting gas next week, so I just use it then. But we're just we're just rolling now. My hair appointment is like all oh, it's like 30 minutes away. And I don't even know where the girl shot. It's my first time going to her shop because my hairstylist had a little baby. And so she's on maternity leave. And so I had to find somebody because y'all, y'all been seeing this, this tragedy. And so, well, I'm not even going to call it a tragedy. But I just want something different. I want something, um, just something different. And I was just thinking about that with my glasses too. Like, I got my, I went to the eye doctor and I got glasses. Well, I usually wear contacts. Um, but I got some glasses because I was like, you know, I just want to switch it up. I want to I wanna see what I look, you know, how I look now in glasses. I haven't worn glasses in years. And so, um, I got the glasses and I'm out of contacts. And like the other day, I was like, oh, I need to order me some contacts because I'm just tired of these glasses. Like, it's some days I want to wear my glasses and some days I don't. I want a different look. And then some days I'm just kind of like, okay, let me put the glasses on. Because in all honesty, glasses look better in certain outfits and hairstyles and certain looks you're going for. And so um, the look I was going for the other day, it just wasn't necessarily, uh, I didn't need any glasses or the glasses kind of threw it off or it would have been a little cuter without the glasses or have my contacts on whatever and so it's just like different looks so sometimes i like to wear my glasses sometimes i don't sometimes i like my hair straight sometimes i like it curly sometimes i like braids sometimes i like an updo so it's just it depends on how i'm feeling the look i'm going for and especially since it is getting cooler i wanted to get like some um some fall vibe hair and so i am think i'm gonna give me like some uh some color in it you know just something different give me a different look change it up a little bit but anyway i got like a busy day ahead of me still yesterday i was in the streets and today i'm in the streets and this this just this street life ain't for me like i know i have to run errands i know i have to keep up with the you know like keep up with certain stuff like i have to just maintain you have to maintain is what i'm saying whether it's the going to the grocery store or going to get your hair done going to get your nails done going to get your car washed out going to get oh my my uh camera was live going to get your car cleaned out you know just whatever it is you have to go to do those things but uh oh i'm about to pay some time that was a little dangerous don't try that at home i just talking out to the past my time but so, you know, you just got to have to maintain and you have to go to maintain. But y'all, I love my bed. I love my bed. And just, I love my house just chilling at home and being relaxed and not having anything just necessarily to do and just 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 relaxing because Monday through Friday I'm, I'm that's a automatic go 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 like I got to go Monday through Friday it ain't no way around it like because I go to work Monday through Friday you know so on the weekends I do consider that like my chill time but at the same time you know that's when I have to get stuff done so anyway that's neither here nor there I need to find a new gym because the gym I was um uh, attending or I had a membership to let's put it like that the gym I had a membership to is closed and so now I need to find a new gym so 
that's gonna be on my agenda probably you know it's not even like high on my agenda honestly because I could if I did right I could just work out at home and then my aunt gave me a treadmill and I just have to go get it I'll, she, she, I just need to go pick it up well I need my brother because he has a truck to go get it but like literally all I have to do is go get the treadmill she said I can have it so I think I'm just gonna do that but I don't know. Got a lot of stuff to do today. It's not a lot of stuff. It's just I got I got it's planned out in my head. I just and one thing I didn't do that I really wanted to do this weekend was get my car cleaned out. My car is a mess. It's just a mess. So anyway, I'll talk with y'all later. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. What's up, y'all? Your girl is back. I'm just oh. I mean self-care is so important like going to get your hair done makes you feel just so good even if you do your own hair like doing your hair and a, a fresh set of nails or a manicure your toes matching or whatever i mean it's just it's so important for you to feel like oh girl how you doing girl i know i know and so i'm back a few days later but yes i want to talk to y'all about um self-care i like these little car talks and i'm gonna try to just put all this in on one vlog so it won't be so so this one won't be so long and plus i'm driving again but um self-care for a teacher is so important teacher burnout is so real teacher um the stress level that we have whoa, whoa, whoa. So, self-care is just so important and um, teacher burnout is so real and so just I just wanted to just come on and quickly just tell yourself just take care of yourself especially if you are like me a mom a wife um, a teacher I have I do have a side business so I am you know trying to I'm sorry y'all I'm trying to get it together I do have a little side hustle so I'm trying to like keep keep that up and I mean it is just so much it is just so much so y'all just take care of yourselves even if you're not like me even if you are only a teacher and you're single and you don't have any kids and you it's just you still keep yourself up because as a teacher it can get hard it really can and you can get frustrated you can get irritated you can get overwhelmed so just take care of yourself is basically what i'm saying even if that does not include getting your hair done getting your nails done getting your getting, you know going to buy a new outfit even if it's just meditating because some people are um in, into just meditating meditate pray whatever you do to not be so stressed out when it comes to teaching stress taking people out of here y'all it's taking people out of here y'all better um not let it take you out so anyway i just wanted to come on and just really tell y'all to just take care of yourselves um the kids need you the, the we need you teachers need you parents need you so we all need each other so just take care of yourself so we can have each other um i'm so thankful for this um community i'm so thankful for this teacher um this teacher based support system and you all know what we're going through because you're going through it with us you know we all going through the same thing pretty much and so let's just look out for each other and let's just take care of each other and i'm going to end the vlog right there and um, i'm trying to think i'm driving but i'm also trying to think if i need anything to tell you i think we are good for this vlog so have a safe weekend and Thanks for watching.